so this leaves detail for concrete block uh, wall so um 350 wall 100 mil outer leaf 150 cavity 100 mil inner leaf okay it's a 100 mil rigid insulation is sitting on the inner leaf okay so with um new regulations there's no cavity close or block anymore okay the wall plate is on, sitting on inner leaf okay the wall plate then carries your joists and carries your rafters so um in between our joists then we have some rock wheel insulation and, and sitting on top of our rafters we have our breathable membrane or felt our battens okay and then our slates we have our fascia board and soffit. There's a vent in the soffit, and there's also a vent in between the rafters here. Okay, let's turn our air flow up into the attic and the timbers breathe. And then we have a gutter on the fascia board and render. Cavity barrier here. And just take note of the starter slates here. Okay, so we've two cut slates and our first full slate goes on on the third button and works down okay so there's one two three three slates sitting on top of each other at the bottom and then we have um i'm going to load for a 250 mil overhang okay so i'm going to put these battens in at 250 centers okay so we get going on the drum Outer leaf, 150 cavity, 100 mil inner leaf. Okay. Now, 215 block. Okay, so that's 21.5, and I'm going to add 1 mil for our bed and mortar. 21.5, 1 mil. 21.5, 1 mil, and Okay, so I'm going to come up four blocks on the inside leaf and just three on the outside. And I'll explain why. Okay. So on the inner leaf, our wall plate is sitting on it. Okay, it's 75 mil wall plate. Okay. Um, okay, now, the reason I didn't come up another block here on this leaf is when we put on our rafter, okay, we're going with a 30 degree pitch here, um, out on site in reality, that if you have a full block here, Okay, your rafter is going to hit it. All right, so you'll end up either knocking off the block or taking a notch out of your rafter. So, good practice. So, when we're putting in the rafter, okay, from the edge of my wall plate, that's my bird's mouth. Okay, just a nice construction line there, 30 degrees. I'm going to come up perpendicular to it. Okay, it's 60. Right, one third of the rafter go, goes below that line two thirds above so the rafter is 150 okay so I'm going to go 10 mil above 5 mil below 30 degrees now so you can see here where the rafter runs down so block layer is going to come along and put in uh, 150 mil block there to close it on up Okay. okay, so I'm going to fit out my soffit lash. Let's fit it onto the wall there. So 
So that's going to carry a 12 mil soffit out. So I'm going to run out a line to get my C cut in the rafter. Okay, and that is on the same down the edge of the wall plate. And it hits it there. Okay, and that's where I bring up my plum cut. And I now have C cut of the rafter. Okay, so I'm going to put in 12 mil soffit. <sighs> Okay, and I'm going to put in an air vent at the end of it. Okay, sitting on our rafter here is a 25mm fascia. Okay, so um, we then have a fillet piece in here, just behind the fascia, so the felt doesn't sag, there's no circuit in there, okay, that's our fillet piece. Right, so sitting on top of our rafters then, before we do the battens, is a breathable membrane, okay. I'm going to put mine in green here. Okay. And then to accommodate for airflow up into the attic, we also have a vent in between the rafters here. Okay. So I'm going to start my vent so it comes down, gets the air from the soffit area here. Okay. Put it in pink also. So it's 3 mil. 30 mil okay by 700 long okay so 70 70 millimeters so there is our vent now so um just to finish off the cavity here i'm going to put 100 mil insulation the inside wall. Okay. Is our rigid insulation, and I'm going to put in water tight. Okay, keep the insulation in place. Black plastic water tight. No. So I'll put in my joists next. Okay, so my joists also sit on top of the wall plate. Okay, and they're 150 mil. So when I get to the rafter here, on a, a dotted line because it's hidden detail, which means they're fixed on the back of the rafter. Okay. And also see you don't let it run on. It's not going to. You don't want to hit in your vent. So we're stopping it. Few mil shy of your vent. Okay. So that is our traces in place. Okay, so I'm going to put some insulation, some Rockwell insulation in the joists. Insulate down into the cavity here. Okay, so there is our insulation. Um, I'll 
just put on my plaster board and we're going to put internal render here and you save the wall okay because this is black work i want to plaster on up plaster won't stick to the timber so you have to put on some scrim okay which is like a meshy type of tape scrim goes on there like so okay we put on internal plaster and a plaster board. It's fixed underneath the bases. Now, so we're ready for our battens. Okay. So, first batten from the boot of the rafter here. Going to come up 100. One centimeter and 50. Okay. Then we're going to have 150 in between the next one. So come up 150 and 50. So that's then. 150 50 so there are three starting battens okay so then we can go 250 mil centers which is 20 millimeters and then five millimeters 20 millimeters and five millimeters 20 and five 20 and five okay so when i said 250 or 25 mil centers, that means in the center of this one, it'll be 25 mil to the center of this lat. The slates always finish halfway on the lat, okay, on the battens. So, 35 mil battens. Should I construction in there? And Join the diagonals symbolize timber bands. Okay, so make sure you have a fine point on your pencil. Put slates. Okay, so I'm going to have your gutter out here. So, first starter slate. It's into the gutter like so. Okay, second starter slate. <coughs> full slate goes on here. Six on the long. Yep. Okay. So 
then we come back up onto our fourth button okay and sure the six is in the middle Familiar states. Yeah. And so on. Okay, so that is our slate detail. So um, we have our Jice is insulated, we have our rafters, we have a breathable membrane, we have our air vent, so that's going to accommodate for airflow up into the soffit vent and up into our attic space. Okay, we have our cavity insulated, insulation room down here. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're missing a cavity barrier here, just to close off the cavity. That is our concrete block eaves detail finished.